So the first thing we've done, therefore, is to, is to create a little bit of the rules. So the next thing I need, just need to do is to say, uh, are you comfortable to, to, to participate in this? And you're ready, is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Good, and, and we're happy to work together. We are. Good, so we, we've got a little bit of rapport going. Um, I, I remember in the early days, somebody complained because somebody had said, assume rapport. Now, they were very rude, because we must not presuppose rapport, we need to work it. But at the same time, if Steve and I knew each other really well, we could almost, you know, assume a standing position. We could almost assume rapport because we could take it on very quickly. But the key is that we, we, we establish that rapport we're prepared to work. Okay. So I'd like to, if, if it's okay with you, just to ask you some questions. Sure. And the first question I'd like to ask you is what would be the most useful question for me to ask you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No, but what would it be if you did know? I guess it might be, um, what do I want to do when I retire? Good, okay. Would it be all right if we just broke out for a moment? Sure. Did you notice he had to think about the answer, he had to think about the question for me to ask? And that's really good news, because I, I, I believe we're making some progress. And he had to think about the answer to his own question. So notice, particularly notice his eyes, but watch his face generally. But the more glazed and blank he goes, the more I know that we're spot on. Okay, so the question you'd like me to ask you, if I remember now, <laughs> is, is what would you like to do when you retire? Is that correct? I think so. Yes, okay, right. And I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. But again, what would it be if you did know? I mean, have a guess about some ideas. There's a whole range of things like when would it be and would we move to, well, I assume the two of us would move out of a five bedroom house now the kids have gone, but does that mean another house in the village? Do we retire to the seaside? Do we, well, whatever. Yeah, good. And how does one, how do I, we, yep. go about making those decisions? Okay, good. That's the challenge. Good. So there are a number of options there. What would be the most useful option for me to ask you about, you know, you, to ask you about now? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not being awkward. No, I know. Yeah. And, and that's the beauty of it. Yeah. Because if you did know, you wouldn't need to be sitting up here, would you? Well, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So if you did know, what do you think it might be? Just, just choose one. It, it would have to be something along the lines of what's the most important in terms of goals and things, right, I good, think. Good, I think. okay. So what do you think might be the most, you, most important in terms of goals? One I've thought about before, um, for the last few years, is, is about staying healthy. Yeah. Because if you don't do that, the rest Absolutely. kind of falls apart. Right, yeah. yeah. Um, Another one is, is, is about family. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, there's my wife as well as me. She's currently still working. What do we want to do? And where would we be in relation to the children and so on? Um, and then the, the other main element would be oh, going up the Milton thing, uh, the, sorry, the Dilts thing yeah. towards mission and purpose. Yeah. You know, do I want to be doing something useful? You know, why are we here? What, what am I meant to be doing? And, and that is also tied to how long should I keep working? Right. That aspect of right. Other things. So, so there are lots, lots, lots of things to consider, aren't there? Yes. So the, the, the obvious question for me to ask you. <laughs> Is what would be the most useful one of those for us to explore? It would either be... <laughs> just one, come no, on, no, just I mean, one. It, 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 it's... How, how, do, how do we have it... What, what, what decision process do my wife and I need to go through? Right, okay. So, if I were to ask you about the best decision process for your wife and I, uh, for wife and you. <laughs> so if I were to ask you about the, mm. the most useful decision process for you and your wife to go through, what, what, what would be the most useful question? What would be the, the thing to, to consider? The one I, thing that's the most useful. It, it would be good for us to have um, an open discussion and agree some common goals, I guess. Yeah. Good, yeah. good. Um, 
Does that okay. answer your question? No, yeah, it does. Yeah. So I could ask you two questions now. I could ask you what would be even better than that. But actually what I'm going to ask you is what stopped you from doing that so far? That's an interesting question. Is that that is bliss for me. The only question, the only answer that is better is that's a really interesting question to ask me. So carry on. Yes. I think um, putting it off, but it is an inevitable thing. I, I also think I don't, um, I don't open up very easily and talk about feelings very easily. Um, and also, I'm not that sort of person who's good at setting goals and ambitions. I've never been, you know, you know, not like kids who know from the age of five they're going to be prime minister, yes. want to be prime minister or, or whatever. Yeah. Um, so actually kind of setting a goal other than, I mean, ba basic from a few years back, learning a bit about this in NLP, I managed to hone the one about keeping you healthy, but the other ones are still very fuzzy. Yes. And yes. so, yeah, I don't find it an easy thing to do. No, no. You like multiple options. Oh, absolutely. Actually, my wife and I are very different on that. I like to keep multiple options open until the last minute, mm. because why wouldn't you? And she likes certainty. Yeah. She yeah. Would so, so <laughs> in, in this situation, what would be what would be a better situation than the one that you've just described? Just well, described. Thought, like me, it would be better, wouldn't it? <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> okay. So, what would actually be better? Well, for each for us each to understand the other's position, mm. um, and, and sort of work with that. Um, whereas I tend to give in for an easy life. So, right. you know, she, she's bugging me about, where, how, where are we going to go on holiday in six months' time? I'll book it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bluthering yeah. me. So I don't really need to ask you what stops you because you've just explained that. So I'm going to ask you mm -hmm. back again now. So what would be the, actually be the most useful question for to me, me to ask you now? Mm, what am I going to do next? Yes. So what are you going to do next? I think I'm going to think about it some more. Right. Um, but I, I think, too, seriously, um, you know, when, when I f either of us are finding work hard, you know, at some point we, 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 we need to say, okay, so what's it going to be? You know, how long? Um, particularly, it, it, there's been triggers now and again, so they'll come around again and maybe we should start discussing it. Yes, especially as you say you like leaving things to the last minute. So what would be actually be better than leaving things to the last minute? Well, it could be not leaving things to the last minute. There is a risk if you leave things to the last minute, you don't get what you want. Mm. Yeah. Um, so maybe we should you know, think seriously about what things is it either of us would like to do before we're too decrepit. Yeah. You know? So the, the idea of wouldn't it be nice to go and cycle around New Zealand, yeah, but you can't do it in a two-week uh, two summer holiday, so let's wait till we retire and we'll do it over three months. Well, how long are you going to wait? And you may not then be able to do it. Stuff like that. Right. So you're raising a whole lot of options. It's There's lots of options. Yes. Mm. So what are you going to do about it? Uh, sooner or later, we're going to have to stop talking about it. Yes. Really. And uh, when uh, would uh, be uh, sooner and when would be later? I guess it would get triggered by various events. Mm. So can I just interrupt a moment? So yes, what sure. would actually be better than waiting for a random number of external events to affect your life? Start discussing it sooner rather than later okay. is the answer, right. is Yes, yeah. so, okay. Mm. So can we stop there? I think that would be good. good. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good. Absolutely. So what is the key with Steve? Whatever question I ask, he comes up with a list of 25 options. Yeah. So right? the key is to, is, to, is to focus you down, focus mm -hmm. you down, focus you down to deal with one issue at a time. Right. Yeah. So yeah. Were, you, were you not aware of that? Um, I'll have to replay and think about that. Yes, yeah, it's yes. an interesting one. And mm. also think about the consequences of living a life like that. I envy that in a way because it's quite, it's quite a young mindset of just wanting to be able to explore everything. But in some ways it, it can slow you down because I think you, 
I, I was listening as intently as I could, and mm. I noticed that you said that um, I like having a lot of choices, whereas my wife's quite... She, she likes certainty. Yeah. She, she you really like does not like uncertainty. I personally, I, I mean, I've always found too much uncertainty just leads to you doing nothing. Yeah. Okay. Now, just one thing. The role of the coach is to ask the questions and be curious and not to come up with solutions. Mm -hmm. Sorry. And That's I know it's very useful to get the example from Shekhar because it's the biggest temptation for many people is to come up with solutions. Mm -hmm. And there are a few occasions when it's appropriate and you have to judge when it is and then you have to say, would it be appropriate for me now to make a suggestion or would it be appropriate for me now to just tell you something about my experience or about one of my colleagues' experience or something. But be very wary with it because the process is what wins and it's the client that needs to solve it uh, and, and not you. So don't consider your fingers to be wrapped, but consider me to be really pleased that you've given me an opportunity to draw out a lesson. <laughs> so were, were there any other observations about the process of how, how it was going? Uh, once or twice I went slightly off the pattern, but it was within the context of this pattern. But I was able really to do it all using these questions. And I think we did make some progress. Yeah, we, we did. Yeah. Um, it, it, it felt a bit What's the right word? Contrived is probably not the right word, but the fact that you, I knew what question you were going to, oh no, he's going to ask me that again, what am I going to, <laughs> yeah. you know, but I mean, well actually, I mean, but, but it did move it along. Yes, um, yes. So yeah, I can see why that's yeah. perfectly valid. And it was a way of challenging Absolutely. without being aggressive. Definitely. And uh, keeping you on the spot, Definitely. With, I hope, without being aggressive. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. I was using your words anyway. But I, I, I am disinterested, not uninterested. Mm. I don't care what the answer is. Mm. But what I did care was that was an answer. Mm. And the danger is that there will be 25 non-answers because you naturally keep coming up with lists and so on. <laughs> so, so was that a bit, a bit like pulling the horse back to the road in a way? Yes, what you were absolutely, doing? absolutely. I think that model uh, of Milton Erickson's is mm. perfect. It's that you know, but I don't. Mm -hmm. But I have a process. Mm -hmm. And I will discipline you, and I will mm -hmm. keep you on the track. But I don't actually really know. And I care, but I am disinterested. Mm -hmm.